Hello, everyone. Welcome to the U Track Channel. This is Amy Tong. Are you ready for Halloween? If not, you should check out today's street. It will definitely put you in the mood. This street not only look creepy, but super fun to eat. Best of all, they are finger licking good. Follow me to the dungeon. I mean kitchen, and I'll show you how to make these witch's fingers. First, we will need eight ounces of softened and salted butter. Along with two tablespoons of sugar, beat them together over medium high speed until the butter is light and fluffy. If you don't have a stand mixer, you can also do this with a handheld mixer. Next, add in one teaspoon of vanilla extract along with half a cup of powdered sugar. Beat until the mixture is well incorporated, and don't forget to scrape down the sides of the bowl if necessary. Lastly. Add in two cups of all-purpose flour and beat until the mixture is just combined. Transfer half of the cookie dough onto a rolling mat. It'll be easier to work with in small portions. Gently press and knead the dough until it comes together. Roughly divide the dough into one and a half tablespoon portions. Roll each portion into a log about half an inch in diameter and four inches long. It's okay if they are not evenly round because that will make them look more realistic. Make sure to roll one end pointier than the other for the fingertips. Transfer the cookie dough onto a baking sheet. Next, decorate the fingertip side with a piece of sliced almond. To make the fingers look more realistic, score a few lines over the knuckle areas. Make sure to use the back of the knife so you don't cut through the cookie dough. Chill the cookie dough in the refrigerator for at least one hour before baking. That will help the finger keep the shapes and not spreading too much during the baking process. Bake in the 350 Fahrenheit preheated oven for about 12 to 40 minutes, or until the bottom is slightly golden brown. Let the cookies cool completely on a wire rack for a creepier effect. Dust the cookie with some unsweetened cocoa powder, and that's it. Your witch's fingers are all done. I hope you like today's tutorial and will make some of these witch's fingers for your Halloween party. Wish you all a happy Halloween. Boo! Before you go, please remember to click on the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel. That way, you'll be the first to know when I bake up something fresh. And remember, eat, drink, and be happy. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next week.